Welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. Today, in this video, we'll be looking at how to use SQL Transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. In Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer, SQL Transformation is typically used to access the stored procedure and functions of a database. The name of a stored procedure or function are very much case sensitive and you should be very much aware of it. There are some of the prerequisite in order to use SQL Transformation. The user should already have a SQL function or a stored procedure created in the database ready to be picked up. Also, user needs to refer to what are the available RDBMS databases which the SQL transformation supports. Let's look at a demo of how to use SQL transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Type in the Informatica Cloud URL in the browser and use a credential to log in. Navigate to Design Mappings. Click on the new mappings icon. Type in a relevant mapping name. Click OK. Drag or drop a source. In this case, the source is going to be a flat file. Select an object. I'm going to have an expression transformation as well. This expression transformation is going to have an output field created called application key of decimal data type. I am going to configure a value, validate it and save it. Now let me drag and drop the SQL transformation. Let's provide a name for this transformation. Now click on the SQL tab and try to select a connection. I have a connection already created for Oracle RDBMS, so I'll be using an existing connection. If you don't have one, please create a new connection. You can either select stored procedure or stored function. I have a stored procedure already created. Now click on the select button which would list all the stored procedures in a given instance. The stored procedure name here is get application number which would retrieve an application number for a given input application key. Select the stored procedure. After selecting the required connection and procedure, let me map the output of the expression to the input of the SQL transformation. Verify the incoming field. Go to the field mapping. You need to map the appropriate input field for the SQL transformation that is stored procedure in this case with what is coming from the source. Now click on the output field. This is the output field I'm going to fetch out of the stored procedure, which I'm going to write it to a target. Let me drag and drop a target and connect the output of the SQL transformation to the target. In this case, I'm going to use a flat file as a target to write down the value. Let's configure the target. Let me select a target file or create a new one during runtime. Click OK. Go ahead, validate the mapping and 
save the mapping. Now let's go ahead, save and run the mapping. If you'd like to create a mapping configuration task and schedule it, you might need to create and deploy a mapping configuration task for this mapping and then select a appropriate scheduler. In this case, we'll be selecting a runtime environment to run this. The task has completed successfully by retrieving one successful data row. We would like to hear from you. You can email your feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com infosupport.